Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about mathematical induction. So let's start. The principle of mathematical induction. So the principle of mathematical induction is often compared to climbing an infinite staircase. So first, you need to be able to climb up the first step. So you in part one. Second, if you are on any step, let's say n step or k step, you must be able to climb up to the next step. n is equals to k plus 1 or yung next step natin. And if you can do these two things, so yung dalawang part na yun, then you will be able to climb up the infinite staircase. Also, another analogy of the principle of mathematical induction that is used is stop playing an infinite line of standing dominoes. So you need to give the first domino a push so that it falls down. Also, the dominoes must be arranged so that if the kth domino falls down, the next domino will also fall down. So these two conditions will ensure that the entire line of the dominoes will fall down. So, kumbaga, continuous yung pagbagsak niya. Let's have the principle of mathematical induction. We have let P sub n be a property or statement about an integer n. Suppose that the following conditions can be proven. So, ito yung part 1. P of 1 is true, that is, the statement is true when n is equals to 1. Second part, for any positive k, if p sub k is true, then p sub k plus 1 is also true. That is, if the statement is true for some positive integer k, it is also true for the next positive integer k plus 1. Pag napatunayan natin yan, then the statement p sub n is true for all integers n. So, sabihin natin, sir, medyo magulo. So, let's have an example para mas maganda. Proving summation identities. We now consider some examples on the use of mathematical induction in proving summation identities. So, here we go. Using mathematical induction, prove that. Letter A. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus up to N is equals to n times n plus 1 all over 2 for all positive integer n. Letter B, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus all the way up to n squared is equals to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6 for all positive integer n. Lastly, letter C, the sum of 1 over i plus i plus 1 from i equals to 1 up to n is equals to n over n plus 1 for all positive integer n. Now, kung napansin, itong mga formula na ipuprove natin, ito rin yung ginamit natin nung last week. Okay? So, isa to sa mga property ng summation or ng sigma. So, ngayon, ipuprove natin yung formula na yan. So, let's start. Number 1. Panoorin mabuti and tingnan mabuti kung paano siya gagawin. So, let's start. Solution for number 1. We have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to n and this equals to n times n plus 1 all over 2 for all positive integers n. Now, part 1. Prove that the identity is true for n is equals to 1. And ang tawag din natin doon is verification process. So, ito yung part 1. So, paano ginagawa yan? Let n is equals to 1. Then, check natin kung tama. Yung left side equals sa right side. So, yung 1 lang is equals to yung right side. n times n plus 1 all over 2. So, yung n papalitan natin to ng 1. Kaya naging 1 times 1 plus 1 all over 2. Okay, so ito lang yun. Pinalitan ko lang ng 1, lahat ng n. Simplify natin. 1 times 1 plus 1 is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 is equals to 1. Therefore, if n is equals to 1, and this is a true statement. So, this is true. 
Now, sometimes, yung ibang formula, sa 1 lang nag to true Pag n is equal to 2, nag false na. So, dito sa ating example, gagawin natin, n is equals to then. So, i-verify din natin yung second number. So, let n is equals to 2. So, we have 1 plus 2. So, 2 na. Is equals to yung n times n plus 1 over 2. Papalitan natin ng 2 yung n. So, we have 2 times 2 plus 1 all over 2. 2 times, this is 3. 2 times 3 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 i. 3 and then 1 plus 2 i. 3. So, 3 is equals to 3. Therefore, this is also true when n is equals to 2. Yun lang yung part 1. And that's the verification process. Next, let's move on to part number 2. So, assume that the formula is true for n is equals to k, where k is an integer. At ang tawag sa part na to is inductive hypothesis. Ito yung pinakamadaling part. Bakit? Kasi lahat ng n, papalitan mo lang ng k. Like this. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus all the way up to k, kasi yung n, pinalitan ng natin ng k, equals to k times k plus 1 all over 2. So, tandaan, ito yung ating inductive hypothesis. So, ito yung k step. So, we want to show that the formula is true for n is equals to k plus 1. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Lahat ng n dito sa ating formula, papalitan natin ng k plus 1. At ito na yung next step. So, meaning dito sa left hand side, magandag doon tayo ng another step. So, tingnan natin mabuti. So, ito hanggang k lang. And then magandag doon tayo ng another step. And yung formula dito sa right hand side, papalitan natin lahat ng n ng k plus 1. Ako ha? So, yung n na to, pagdating sa kabila, ito ay k plus 1. Yung n dito, magiging k plus 1. Then, then, ito yung plus 1 pa rin, all over 2. So, lahat ng kulay puti, iyan yung value ng n. Pinalitan lang natin. So, ginawa ko siyang kulay puti para makita natin na sinubstitute ko lang yung n, ginawa ko lang k plus 1. Simplify natin. This can be simplified as k plus 1 and this is k plus 2 all over 2. So, yung kabila, nagdududu na tayo ng next step natin. Okay, so ito yung part 2. Now, ang tanong, sir, kailangan po ba namin yung isulat part by part? And the answer is yes. So, hindi kayo pwedeng tumalo ng isang part agad. So, kailangan natin siyang isulat kung paano natin siya nakita dito sa discussion. Okay? So, let's continue. So, again, we want to show that, ito yung nasa iba ba kanina, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus k plus k plus 1, ito yung next step natin, is equals to k plus 1 times k plus 2 all over 2. So, this time, kukunin natin yung nasa left hand side, itong part lang na to. So, yung goal natin ay maipakita na yung left side ay equal dun sa right side. So, kunti yung left side. Next. Tingnan mabuti yung 1 plus 2 up to k. Kung tatandaan, ito yung ating inductive hypothesis. And this equals to k times k plus 1 all over 2. So, ito yung ating inductive hypothesis. Kung nakalimutan nyo na, balikan nyo yung next slide natin or i-rewind nyo yung video. So, ito yung value nung may kulay dilaw. K times K plus 1 all over 2. Next, idagdag natin ngayon yung K plus 1. Ito pa rin yung K plus 1. Dagdag lang natin. So, itong value na to ay K times K plus 1 all over 2. At, syempre, may dagdag siya na K plus 1. Now, simplify natin. Same denominator. So, multiply sa 2 over 2. Next, combine natin yung numerator we have k times k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1. Next, kung mapapansin, magkamukha yung k plus 1. So, pwede natin siyang i-factor. Pag pinactor natin itong k plus 1 dito, matitira ay k. Pag pinactor natin yung k plus 1 sa term na to, matitira ay 2. Therefore, magiging k plus 1 times matitira yung k plus matitira yung 2. So, k plus 2 all over 2. And kung mapapansin, this is the same nung ating nasa kailangang i-prove. Okay, so therefore, 
by the principle of mathematical induction, we have proven that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to n is equals to n times n plus 1 all over 2 is true for all positive integers n. So again, ulitin natin. Bakit nga ba naging true? Nung nag-factor tayo, pinag-combine natin, yung nasa left side, pinag-combine lang natin, and eventually, nag-end up tayo dun sa goal na kailangan nating i-prove. At ito naman talaga yung kailangan nating i-prove. Ito yung kailangan nating patunayan na yung next step ay ito na yung magiging katumbas. Okay? And since they are the same, we can now say na by the principle of mathematical induction, na prove natin na this is true for all positive integers n. Now, paano natin i-end yung ating proof? So, meron dalawang paraan. Yung una, paggamit nung box na shaded. Okay, ang tawag dyan is tombstone symbol. Uh, usually, ginagamit sa mga magazine sa pag-end ng statement. Pero, yung gagamitin natin sa mga sunod na example is yung QED. And then, siya ng proof at ano ibig sabihin ng QED? Ito ay quad erat demonstrandum. So, pagkatapos ng every proof natin, lalagyan natin ng QED. Meaning, end of the proof. Okay? So, end of the proof na tayo. So, let's have the next number. So, solution para sa letter B. We have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared up to n squared and this equals to n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 all over 6 for all positive integers n. So, ganun lang din ulit. Uulitin natin yung proseso. Part 1. Prove that the identity is true for n is equals to 1. Again, verify, verify natin. Let n is equals to 1, so 1 squared equals to 1 times lahat ng n palitan ng 1. 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1. All over 6. Now, yung 1 squared is just 1. 1 times 1 plus 2 ay 2. Times 2 times 1 ay 2 plus 1 ay 3. So, 1 times 2 times 3 ay 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, this is true. Now, check natin sa n equals to 2. So, magiging 1 squared plus 2 squared. Tapos, lahat ng n papalit natin ng 2. 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 times 2 plus 1. So, we have 5 is equal to 5. So, pwede natin i-simplify ito. Then, ay kita natin na ito ay 5 is equals to 5. Therefore, if n is equals to 2, and this statement is true. So, we're done in part 1. Yun yung kailangan natin gawin sa part 1. Next, part 2. Assume that the formula is true for n is equals to k, where k is an integer. O yung tinatawag nating inductive hypothesis. At yung pinakamadaling part. Palitan ng k lahat ng n. Like this. Next, we want to show that the formula is true for n is equals to k plus 1. Or yung next step. So, we have lahat ng n dito papalitan ng k plus 1. So, nakita natin ito kanina. Yung n plus 1, yung n papalitan ko ng k plus 1, kaya may plus 1 pa dyan. Yung n dito, katabi ng 2, gagawin kong k plus 1. Next, magdagdag tayo ng isang step sa left-hand side kasi nagdagdag na tayo ng another step. Simplify pa natin. Ito kasi maging k plus 1. Ito ay k plus 2. Ito ay, simplify natin to 2 times k is 2k. 2 times 1 ay 2. And then plus 1 is 3. So, 2k plus 3. Ito yung kailangan nating patunayan na yung left side ay equal sa right side. Okay, so lagay natin sa taas. So, we want to show that yung left side ay equal dun sa right side. So, this time, kunin natin tong left side. Like this. Now, meron tayo nakikita sa part na to, yung parang strategy na ginawa natin kanina. Ito ay yung ating 
inductive hypothesis. So, ano equivalent niya? K times K plus 1 times 2K plus 1 all over 6. Okay, nasa inductive hypothesis yan. So, don't forget na may naka-add tayo na K plus 1 raised to 2. So, i-add pa rin natin siya, syempre. Next. Same denominator tayo. So, 6 over 6. Multiply sa 6 over 6. Next, combine yung numerator. Kasi same siya ng denominator. We have k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 squared. Now, para silang may k plus 1. So, meaning, pwede natin siyang i-factor. Okay, factor natin. So, ang matitira dito ay k times 2k plus 1 na lang. Ito yun, k times 2k plus 1. Plus, ang matitira dito is 6 times k plus 1 na lang. Kasi k plus 1 squared, natanggal na yung k plus 1. Nakuha? Next, isimplify natin. We have k times 2k. This is 2k squared. Ito yun. Next, k times 1 is k. 6 times k ay 6k. k times 6k ay 7k. Next, 6 times 1 ay 6. Okay, next. Itong 2k squared plus 7k plus 6, pwede siyang i-factor. Eh, sir, ba't natin kailangang i-factor? Balik tayo sa goal natin. Yung goal natin ay may ipakita na equal siya dito. Okay, kasi ito yung ating left-hand side yung kinuha natin. Kailangan natin mapatunayan na ito ay equal dito sa right-hand side natin. So, meaning, ito ay hindi pa kamukha, pero meron tayong k plus 1. So, meaning, kailangan natin itong i-factor and hoping na ang lalabas dito ay yung k plus 2 times 2k plus 3. Now, factor natin and we end up with k plus 2 times 2k plus 3. And kung titignan mo mabuti, this is the same kagaya ng ating gustong patunayan or ng ating gustong ipakita. And therefore, by mathematical induction, we have proven that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus up to n squared is equals to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6 is true for all positive integers n. And we're done. End of the proof. QED. Let's move on. Let's start the solution for letter C. So we have the sum of 1 over i times i plus 1 from i equals to 1 up to n is equals to n over n plus 1 for all positive integers n. So, ano kailangan natin gawin dito? Una, syempre, yung part 1, prove that the identity is true for n is equals to 1. And the verification method, ang tawag natin dyan. So, let n equals to 1 and n is equals to 2. Sabi dito, 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 1, ito yun, yung summation, is equals to yung right-hand side, n over n plus 1. So, lahat ng n, pinalitan ko lang ng 1. And this equals to 1 half is equals to 1 half. And this is true. Next, if n is equals to 2. Yung summation natin, we have 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times 2 plus 1. So, definition of sum, uh, summation is equals to yung right hand side, yung n papalit natin ng 2. 2 over 2 plus 1. So again, verification process pa lang naman to. Next, simplify natin. 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1 is 1 half. 1 over 2 times 2 plus 1, 2 times 3 ay 6. So 1 half plus 1 six is equals to 2 thirds. So let's see if they are equal or ito ay true. 1 half plus 1 six. So yung 1 half, gawin natin same denominator, times 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 ay 6. Now, same denominator na. Add natin agad. So, we have 4 over 6. And 4 over 6 is 2 over 3. So, meaning 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3. And this is true statement. So, they are the same. So, we're done in base case or yung part 1. Next, let's have the part 2. Assume that the formula is true for n is equals to k. So, again, where k is an integer. 
So, lahat, palitan natin ng K. Yun yung nakasimple. Itong N, saka yung N naging K, yung N sa taas ng summation naging K din. Ganun lang kasimple. Next, we want to show that the formula is true pa dun sa next step. Ano yung next step natin? When N is equal to K plus 1. So, palitan natin. Yung N dito naging K plus 1, yung N naging K plus 1. Ano yung ginawa dun sa kabilang side, sa left hand side? Nagdagdag ng another step. Uh, ano ba yung another step? 1 over yung I, gagawin natin K plus 1. At yung I dito, gagawin natin K plus 1 din. Yun yung next step. Okay? So, simplify natin. This equals to K plus 1 over K plus 2. Kasi K plus 1 plus 1 is K plus 2. Now, ito yung goal natin maipakita na true. So, ito yung starting point natin para sa medyo mahaba-habang computation. So, lagyan sa taas. So, we want to show that the summation of 1 over i times i plus 1 from i equals to 1 up to k plus, ito yung next step natin, 1 over k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 is equals to k plus 1 over k plus 2. Kukuhin ulit natin yung left hand side. So, ganun pa lang ulit. Palaging ganun yung process natin. Kunin yung left hand side and tingnan natin tong part na to. Siyempre, gagamitin natin yung inductive hypothesis natin. So, palagi naman siyang gagamitin. Okay? At kailangan natin siyang gamitin. So, itong part na to may value siya which is k over k plus 1. Dagdag natin yung next step natin. Next, simplify natin itong part na to, Medyo madaming pa rin. Simplify natin. Gawin natin k plus 1 times k plus 2. Kasi ito ay k plus 1 plus 1 or k plus 2. Next, same denominator tayo. So, paano magiging same denominator to? Multiply natin to by k plus 2. k plus 2 over k plus 2. Now, same denominator na sila. Same denominator, then add na lang yung numerator. Next, simplify natin yung numerator. This is k squared plus 2k plus 1. Distribute natin. Next, tingnan natin yung ating kailang i-prove. Medyo malayo pa. Kasi ito ay trinomial, ito ay may factor, ito ay wala. So gawin natin, factor natin yung numerator. Yung numerator kasi, pag pinactor natin yan, yan ay k plus 1 times k plus 1. Now, ito yung nakikita natin. Dalawang k plus 1, taas at ibaba. So, pwedeng i-cancel. Ano yung matitira? k plus 1 over k plus 2. Eh, ano ba yun? Yun yung exactly na gusto nating i-prove. So, therefore, since magkamukha sila, we can now say, by the principle of mathematical induction, we have proven that the sum of 1 over i times i plus 1 from i equals to 1 up to n is equals to n over n plus 1 and this is true for all positive integers n. And therefore, we're done. QED. And that's all for today. As always, that's it.